What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhyme Style here, and today I got some Dragon Ball Fighters news that's both good and bad. The bad news is the beta has been delayed. Now, you're probably wondering, Rhyme Style, why is that good news? The good news is that means they're preparing to make sure that everything goes more smoothly, so when the beta does actually happen, then we can all play. Does everybody here remember what happened when the Xenra's 1 and Xenra's 2 beta happened? Yeah, we don't want that uh, to be a repeat. Now, that's not to say that when the beta actually happens that the same thing doesn't happen with fighters, because fighters is so popular right now that I'm sure the numbers are going to do probably like two or three twice as many people playing the beta as they did with Xenomers. So it, it's good they're kind of preparing and they kind of understand what kind of numbers is going to come after them um, when the beta actually happens. This is what Bayonetta Namco had to say on their official Facebook page, which you can see on the screen right now. Bayon on Amco Entertainment would like to thank all its fans for the tremendous support for Dragon Ball Fighters. We recently announced at EVO 2017 that the closed beta sign-up for Dragon Ball Fighters would begin on July 26, 2017, which is tomorrow, by the way. Due to the volume of excitement and enthusiasm surrounding this announcement, we have decided to expand the capacity of closed beta in an effort to enable more players to participate in the program. We're also working to bolster our background systems to ensure that the closed beta registration and selection process can accept the volume of anticipated sign-ups. However, these efforts would necessitate a slight delay for the closed beta sign-up date, which will move to August 22nd, 2017, with the official start of the Dragon Ball Fighters closed beta officially commencing from September 16th through the 18th. We would like to thank all our fans for their patience and understanding. We look forward to sharing more news about Dragon Ball Fighters closed beta program soon. Thank you. So again, this is both good news and bad news. Obviously, it's bad news because we have to wait a little bit longer before we can get our hands on it. But to be fair, they never actually announced when the beta was starting. So for that, that was still kind of up in the air. We just all expected that the signups were going to start tomorrow. And now it's going to get pushed back roughly a month. But again, this is all for the better in the long run. More people get to play. They'll probably have a better, uh, I guess, setup for when the beta actually goes live so it doesn't crash and go crazy. Which will probably still crash because let's be real now. It's a beta and that always happens. But at least we get three days to play. September 16th, 17th, and 18th, which I assume should be a weekend. I didn't check the freaking date yet, but it should be a weekend, and it's really exciting stuff. Now, again, in case you missed it, it's going to feature nine characters, which consist of Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Trunks, Cell, Frieza, and Majin Buu. Now, as of right now, there's no word whether or not they'll change that character roster or if they're going to add any more. They kind of already announced that this is going to be the final roster for the beta. So, But if that changes, I'll let you guys know. So stay tuned to our channel. Subscribe for new here. And I will keep you guys in the loop with anything Dragon Ball gaming related. Especially with fighters. That's an exciting game that I cannot wait to get my hands on. With that said, the final question I'm going to end the video with is which three characters do you want to play first when the beta goes live? For me... I gotta go with definitely Majin Buu and Frieza, and then maybe try out Trunks, because he looks really exciting. I like the fact that he has reach, and based on the freaking comments that we saw that his character had in the release trailer, he's got a lot of potential. And I gotta go with Majin Buu because he's amazing, and of course Frieza, because his freaking, all of his, everything about Frieza in this game is amazing. So anyways, that's it. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on the delay. Is it good or bad? Are you excited or not excited? Do you not care which character you're going to use? And we'll take it from there. Hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Ramstyle. I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.